Hello. Today I will be sharing my new social enterprise called Personal Home, which strives to fill the gap of hospice care within the suburban and rural communities of Ontario. Only 16 to 30 percent of Canadians who die from chronic life-limiting illness have access to receive hospice palliative and end-of-life care services because of where they live in Canada. Over 3 in 10 Canadians personally suffer from a chronic illness, while 4 in 10 have a person with a life-limiting illness in their immediate family. Often families who are discharged from hospital are split between preparing for home and taking care of their loved ones. This is even more of a challenge when patients do not have adequate social support for this transition. Hospice palliative care programs allow patients to gain more control over their lives, manage pain and symptoms more effectively, and provide support to family caregivers. Personal Home will address three major concerns of patients and families with the palliative diagnosis. One is a transition to home, two, subsidized support and low-cost medical equipment, and three, access to a 24-hour palliative care unit within the community. The transition to home service will be run by an interprofessional team. A comprehensive assessment of the family's needs along with the home safety assessment will be completed. Upon assessment, a team will be coordinated to rearrange furniture, set up hospital beds and medical equipment and more. Case managers will work with families to coordinate and schedule personal support workers and home palliative care visits. The goal of the transition to home service is to allow families to focus on being with their loved ones at the end of their life and reducing the amount of stress and anxiety families may feel when faced with a palliative care diagnosis. Personal Home also has an online marketplace for families to rent, use hospital equipment at a lower cost. Offsetting the cost will support patients and families who cannot afford the high cost of medical equipment but wish to stay at home for their last month of life. Our fees for these services will be on a sliding scale based on the family's income. The funds from these initiatives will go into purchasing and staffing a home hospice within the Scarborough area, where patients will have 24-hour medical care. When home is not safe anymore, families can make the transition to our palliative care unit. Personal Home will work in partnership with local clinics, hospitals, and community organizations. We will partner with the Lynn, moving companies, medical equipment installation companies, and cleaning services. Funding will come from the Hospice and Palliative Care Ontario, Canadian Hospice Palliative Care Association, and the federal and provincial government, as well as the two fee-based initiatives mentioned above. Our services will be measured using qualitative surveys of the patients and families we serve. We will also keep track of referral sources and number of service users. A cost-benefit analysis will be used to acquire more funding and expand services to other suburban and rural areas across Ontario. Personal Home makes it possible for vulnerable populations to be with their family in the community that they have lived in at the end of their life. Relieving the financial and emotional burden on families and providing access to hospice and palliative care services in suburban and rural areas. Personal Home providing quality care in the community you trust.